What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Michael Hunter. Michael Hunter is that fighter that was a candidate or supposedly a candidate to fight Anthony Joshua after Jarrell Miller pulled out. Michael Hunter revealed to IFL TV that the fight was never offered to him. He said that the fight was never offered to him. He was a last option and Anthony Joshua simply didn't want that smoke because he knew who he was up against. Hmm. Well, it is interesting, you know, because there are a lot of names thrown around and the names that were brought up by Eddie Hearn was he was one of the names he was mentioned, but the way Eddie Hearn talked about it, he really downplayed Michael Hunter because of his size. He's already been beaten by Usyk. He was a, he was outscored and outboxed by Usyk. But I don't think he was really a candidate. But then again, I don't think that they felt that he was a, a big threat or a big enough name. But then again, who was Andy Ruiz? Andy Ruiz is that person that did fight Joseph Parker. And Anthony Joshua fought Joseph Parker, which was the WBO heavyweight champion of the world. So I can understand why they did it business wise, because you're looking at a guy that, yeah, he's a replacement. He's strong. He's tough. He only has one loss. I think he's 19 and one. But I don't feel that that was the reason they ducked him. I think there was a lot of other names and he was maybe the second or third on the list, maybe third or fourth. So I can understand Michael Hunter being bitter because who wouldn't want, well, I would say who wouldn't want that opportunity, but someone on that level like Michael Hunter, that would be an opportunity of a lifetime, you know? So, I mean, it is for the unified heavyweight champion of the world. And if he did get the fight and he did somehow beat Anthony Joshua by landing that perfect punch or doing that right thing and, and, and keeping it consistent, you know, throughout victory. Yeah, that would be an amazing thing for his career. You know, he hit pay dirt at that point. But um, him saying Anthony Joshua doesn't want any smoke, I think it's just his way of, of his own disappointment. You know, he is basically pissed, you know, bitter. And I mean, he should be. Because if I knew my name was called and I'm a fighter and I'm a professional fighter and I know an opportunity like that, you know, at least give me an offer. So I, I do understand that. Give me an offer so I can yay it or nay it. But according to him, an offer was never sent. Now, that's the curious question. I can understand not being called or, or, or chosen for whatever reason, you know, notoriety or just, you know, uh, style wise. But. If I wasn't even sent a contract over, that's that would be like a slap in the face to me. So I can understand Michael Hunter feeling that type of way because, you know, his name was called. So don't get a person all riled up if your name's been called and then yet an offer was never sent. So, you know, that's just name calling and that's just to get your nerves up for no reason at all. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I do definitely understand Michael Hunter. He said that he was he was always that person that took a fight like he took a DAZN fight 11 days notice. So he it's nothing new to him. But Eddie Hearn, that was one of the reasons he didn't want to pick Michael Hunter because he wasn't in camp. And then Andy Ruiz was. But Michael Hunter, being the sportsman as he is, did say, hey, he's happy for Andy Ruiz and he's happy that he got the opportunity. So he's not like an hater. He was just expressing his overall bitterness or dislike towards the way things were done and conducted when his name was called. That's my counterpunch on it. You guys tell me what you think about Michael Hunter. Did Anthony Joshua really want that smoke? Did he not? I don't know. You guys tell me. But anyway, this is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.